Hello. Um, how's everybody doing today? Well, as promised, I'm going to be making actually a couple of videos today. The first one, though, is going to be reading Jonathan James and the What If Monster to you guys. Um, because we're all waiting to buy the book. It's going to be, hopefully the link's going to be live anytime. It can be as late as July 1st, I hear, but cross your fingers, y'all. Maybe earlier. So, in case you haven't seen it yet, this is Jonathan James and the What If Monster. And first I'm going to read it to y'all. And I'm going to assume there's a lot of kids, but this is to all the adults too. Because we're all kids at heart, right? Right. So, Jonathan James and the What If Monster. And then I'm going to read it through all. And then I'm going to go back and tell you all the secrets that are in the book. So, Jonathan James and the What If Monster. There's my little boy. Isn't he cute? I love him. Some What If Monsters like to hang out and fill up our heads with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread, and all those what-ifs got stuck in his head. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and look really silly? What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and make you feel sad? Can you see all that? There you go. What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if that's what everyone thinks? What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells because you're too picky? I love painting that one. I love painting them all. What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? Oh my goodness, that's so scary. What if you lose? What if you're last? What if you're slow and never get fast? What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? Hmm. Poor Jonathan James. He wants to try all these things. Now wait just a minute. I have something to say after hearing what ifs all through the day. I hear all your worries and I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asked Jonathan James. What if I climb to the top of that tree and I never slip or skin up a knee? And what if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun and I end up hitting a triple home run? And what if my art goes up on the wall and everyone thinks it's the best one of all? And what if I taste some of that food and it puts my mouth in a really good mood. And what if I run in a really big race and have a great time, no matter what place? And what if I sleep and have the best dream that monsters are sweeter than they all seem? He's cuddly. And what if the chance I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend? Let's see if that what if monster learned anything. He's taking a chance and jumping in that pool. Now a lot of kids ask me what those lines are. That's like the air lines when you're jumping really fast because he's jumping in the pool. He took some precautions with his floaty, that's okay. Taking chances and being careful is okay. Now I know y'all hear my little dog barking out there. He wants to come in, but he clicky clacks on the floor. And there's workers outside. So we're going to just ignore that, okay? Now, this is the what if monster. What if you fail? What if it's scary? Now, you know what? We all have a what if monster. Every single one of us. And if people say they don't, they're lying. Now, some of us have itty bitty teeny tiny ones. Like this. You know what? I wish my what if monster was itty bitty little teeny tiny. You could barely hear him because then you just do anything you want and you're not scared. 
But some of us have big, giant, huge what if monsters whispering in our ear all the time. So do you know what I made him for? And the book for because we make friends with our what if monster and we whisper to him all our fears I'm scared people won't like me I'm scared I'll never write another book that'll sell I'm scared I might not look very good today and people will laugh at me so you know what you tell him everything because guess what he loves to worry he loves to worry all day long so he's like I'll take your worries for you I'll take your worries for you so if you make friends with your what-if monster real in your hand or imaginary in your head you give him all those worries and then you get to go do all your fun stuff you get to try all those fun things and guess what kids I'm telling you Miss Michelle has messed up, fallen down, failed more times than I can even tell you. And guess what the secret is? There's no such thing as failure. The only way you can fail something is if you quit. You might even find out, you know what? I'm not that good at that and I don't need to be that good at that. Or I tried that and I don't like it. Or you might try something and be like, wow, what if I never tried that? That's the best thing in the whole wide world I ever did. So try things. Now you guys want to know the secrets that are in here? Let's get to some of the secrets. This page. I have a friend and um, her daughter's name, my friend's name is Tammy and her daughter's name is Violet. And that little blondie is modeled after Violet. And then this is another friend, Jules and Sean. Oh, and Tammy is the mommy and um, her daddy's name is Jason. I can't forget Mr. Jason, I love him. And this little boy is Miles. He's got longer hair. They cut his hair sometimes short. He looks so adorable when his hair is short. His hair's a little longer there. But that is Jules and Sean's little boy, Miles. That's the secret there. I don't even know if they knew that. Um, baseball. I played softball when I was a kid, and those were the colors of my uniform when I was a little girl. I love softball, even though that's baseball. Now, this is a drawing page. Now, we'll get to an explanation later on. By the way, that shrimp scampi, I hated shrimp. It looked so gross, but then as an adult, I waited till I was an adult to try it. Now I love it. I wish I hadn't waited so long. And this background is vintage wallpaper that I found. Oh my gosh, I love painting that background so much. Oh, Sophie wants me to point out that all his hair are S's. A lot of them are S's. So she says it's for Sophia. I like that. It's for Sophia. This is the best spread of the book with secrets. Now, here is a painting. It's the first painting I did of Lucy. And kids that see my presentation, I tell them about that painting and I show it first. So this is like a present to all the kids that have seen my presentation and seen that painting I did 10 years ago. That's of my dog, Lucy. Now, do you see this stall right here? I got that when I was nine years old for Christmas one year and his name was Norton. When my son was born, I gave Norton to my son and he renamed him Normie. Here's Normie. I actually had to go and get him and he was in bed with my son. He's gonna be 16. So I hope he doesn't watch the video. He was actually cuddling me with him. Shh, don't tell. Now my daughter loves turtles. This is her turtle pet and he's on the bed too, see? Turtle, turtle pet, he's a pillow, he's a pet. Quite possibly the most successful jingle of all time. All right, and now let's see what else we have here. This little duck, my best friend's name is Melinda, and her son, he, um, her son, that's his duck when he was born, he got that. And a really good, really good friend of mine from college, when his son was born, he got a little monkey. That's his monkey. That's Magnus's monkey. Let's see, and... Do you see that right there? That is a carved wooden car that my husband's father made for him when he was three. Here it is. I didn't paint the flowers on it. Isn't that amazing? That's how much daddies love their kids. They make stuff like that for them. I think that's so cool. Um, and then the, the boat and the seashell are because Miss Michelle absolutely loves the beach and she wants to live there one day. So I always put stuff like that in there. And I have my own boss loves sock monkeys and I gave her a sock monkey fez painting. And there it is right there. Now if we go back a few pages to that painting page, you see the turtle, you see Normie, 
you see the fez monkey hidden back there and um my kids had these um fisher price when they were kids and um time was getting short so I didn't paint it into this spread. I painted a ball instead. So that's why it didn't end up in there. Now this page is a race page. And when you run races, kids, Miss Michelle does. She's not very fast, but that's okay. I like it anyway. Um, you get race numbers. And these race numbers, auto hush. Shh. Sorry about that. I'm not going to restart this for dogs barking because there's always dogs barking. So... Um, these race numbers are birthdays of my family. 12-13, December 13th, that's my birthday. August 21st, that's my husband's birthday. Back here, a little bit squished, says April 4th, my daddy's birthday. Um, June 12th is my younger sister Elizabeth's birthday. May 20th is my Sophie girl's birthday. January 21st is my older sister Jen's birthday. January 13th is my mommy's birthday. And August 8th is my son Noah's birthday. And do you see the hidden what ifs in the picture? I won't point them out. You'll have to find them. There might be more books. Now, in this spread, do you see that dog running across the background? That's the little dog that you hear barking out there, Otto. Ruff, 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 ruff. So he barks all the time. Now, there's bluebirds in this picture because Miss Michelle loves bluebirds. I say they're the bluebirds of happiness. I love to be happy, and bluebirds always make me happy. So you all, these are there's not too many secrets in this spread. I just love them, love them though. Um, and then he finished all his food, so he's happy. He ran the race, and he got that anyway. So those are really. Those are all the secrets in the spread, but this little girl might have, you might see her again soon. So, I hope you guys love Jonathan James and the What If Monster. I will let you know as soon as you can buy the book. I hope you buy the book. Oopsie. I hope you buy the book and buy lots of them and give them as presents because I think a lot of people will like them. But if you don't, that's okay. I'll love you anyway. So, y'all, go on about your day today. Be kinder than you think you need to be. Don't hold grudges. And kids, if you don't know what a grudge is, well, maybe I should write a book about that. Let go of grudges. It means you stay mad and you don't let go. You know what? Let go of those grudges. Let them go. It doesn't help anybody. Now, the best thing you need to do for the rest of your day is take chances, take risks, give your worries to the what-if monster, and assume the very best about all the people in your life because that makes a huge difference. Assume the best. We always assume the worst. Assume the best and you'll be shocked at how your life changes overnight just like that. All right, y'all. I hope you liked it. There will be more videos coming later. Um, and if y'all want love this one, I'll read Dogs, Dogs, and Cats, Cats too in video. All right. I love you guys so much. Have a great day.